In this video, I'm going to install Android Studio Arctic Fox version on a brand new Windows 11 PC. So I've just opened this PC, I've just started it up, and we're going to take a look at Arctic Fox. So that is version 2020.3.1 of Android Studio, uh, which aligns with the IntelliJ IDEA version that it's based on. That's why the numbering system has changed a little bit. Again, brand new PC. Uh, the only thing I've installed on it so far is the screen recording software. So we're going to just go ahead and download this and, of course, read the license agreement in great depth. And we're going to see what it takes to install it on a brand new PC. So let's go ahead and let it download. Looks like download's about complete. So I've just given it permission to install. Uh, let's go ahead and walk through this one step at a time. Okay, we want to definitely install the Android virtual device so that we can do uh, debugging live essentially with that emulator. So let's go ahead and leave these both checked. Uh, this looks good and good. And here we go. We'll choose next and finish. Since this is a new computer, I'll go ahead and say do not import settings. We see this is Arctic Fox again. Uh, this does include support for Jack Jetpack Compose, uh, which is one thing that I wanted to cover in my next project. Since I'm just now installing it, let's go ahead and update Kotlin as well and restart. It's restarted. I'll go ahead and choose Next and Standard. And most people like Dark. Um, I tend to think that Light Mode shows up better on a video, but we'll go ahead and we'll start with Dark this time. Okay, uh, several things that we need to download. Let's go ahead and choose Finish and Finish. It looks good so far. Let's go ahead and start a new project and see how things work. Now I'm a bit excited here because I see empty compose activity, which means that we have the Jetpack Compose built in, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that and then choose next. My compose application. Uh, everything else here looks pretty good. We could probably go a little bit newer on minimum SDK, something, you know, it doesn't matter. We, we can stick with lo Lollipop for this example. And uh, actually, so let's go ahead and bump it up to um, Nougat. And then we'll choose Finish. We see the application is now loading. Now with this very simple sample application, let's go ahead and try and debug it. No target device found. More than likely, we're going to need to set up an emulator. So for that, I go to Tools and then AVD Manager, Android Virtual Device Manager. Let's go ahead and create Virtual Device. And um, we could go with a Pixel 5 will more than likely work. Although, actually, let's go with Pixel 4 so we get the Play Store add-on with it. Uh, choose Next. And let's go with, let's go ahead and go with R, which is going to require a download. This will take a few moments. And now we choose Finish, and Next. Uh, this looks good, this looks good. Uh, graphics Automatic, that looks good. Now let's take a quick look at Advanced Settings. Uh, so Emulated Front Camera, Virtual Scene for the Back, that looks good. Uh, everything here so far, Memory Storage, I think we're in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Finish. So I will go ahead and exit this, and let's try to debug one more time. Notice now it has Pixel 4 API 30 in this drop-down. That's that AVD that we just created. We see a builds running down here, and then also uh, the emulator has appeared in my window on the left. And now the emulator is starting. This will usually take a few moments, especially the first time when it doesn't have a snapshot to run from. So we'll go ahead and let it get started. We're at the home screen now, and you can see down at the, towards the bottom right, there's an install uh, bar that's happening, and then launching, and then connecting the debugger, so giving us a bit of a status update. And then on the main screen here, you can see that it's refreshing as the application is loading. And here we go. Hello, Android. So there's a lot that we can build from at this point, but now you see that we have installed Android Studio very easily on a, on a, basic vanilla Windows 11 computer. Uh, I, I wasn't sure if it was going to require that I download and install anything else like uh, Kotlin or Java or anything else like that or JDK, SDK. We see here it did everything from the ground up for me. 
And uh, I simply had to create an AVD and then run my application there, and everything worked magically. So I hope this video has been helpful. There will be several more that follow this. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.